Well, airline stocks hitting some turbulence with several major airlines cutting guidance in recent weeks, largely due to higher jet fuel costs. American Airlines now expects third quarter earnings of 20 cents and 30 cents per share. That's sharply lower than its previous estimate of around 85 cents to 95 cents a share. Low-cost carrier Spirit now sees revenue between $1.24 billion and $1.25 billion in the third quarter. Southwest, United Airlines, and Alaska all issuing new guidance on how much they're expecting to spend on jet fuel. Joining us now, we've got Peter McNally, Third Bridge Global Sector Lead for Industrials, Materials, and Energy. Peter, great to speak with you as always here. If, if I may summon back into the chat Southwest specifically here, because I, I think they gave a warning that was a little bit more telling about the consumer, especially on that low end here. How much of a warning shot was that to the state of this kind of travel resurgence that many of these CEOs had said is locked in place, is good to go? We are in a countercyclical recovery on that front. Well, there's a few things going on here, you know, in the industry. One, I think we've seen in particular this summer, there's been a shift to international. People have been traveling traveling domestically for a few years now since uh, since the recovery. And that's where we think we've seen the outperformance in major airlines like United, Delta and American on on their top line serving, you know, serving those customers. But costs, you know, as well is uh, is one more factor. And then the third thing that we haven't seen really in four years is capacity. And more planes are being put into service. Uh, airlines have been aggressive in ordering. And finally, Boeing and Airbus are getting their supply chains together. These planes are being delivered. There's more supply of seats. And that's putting some downward pressure on fares here. And we're going into a seasonally softer period for demand. So, um, you know, this is going to be the state of play, we think, for uh, for the next few months in the industry. Yeah, Peter, you know, I'm thinking back to last year when we saw really energy sp uh, prices spike in a big way on the back of the Russia-Ukraine war. Uh, airlines did raise their prices, and yet there was this continued demand from consumers who were in the middle of what we characterize as revenge travel. Um, is the, it, do airlines have that same pricing power this time around, even as they see their own costs add up? Because consumers, as you point out, aren't in the same place. No, it's different now. Um, the the situation has eroded with these additional aircrafts that are that are coming in into service. And yes, fares have gotten high, you know, you know for sure. And and people do want to travel. We wouldn't we wouldn't argue that. And you know, we are through at least on the leisure side in terms of passenger numbers where we were in in 2019. Business still has a way to go and. So does international, but uh, airlines have less pricing power now than they do uh, at any point since since the recovery began. You mentioned something really interesting in, in why customers continue to book and, and that it's interactional. If more of the bookings are for an interna interactional, excuse me, purpose, mm -hmm. then does that lead to a, a kind of leisure malaise here? People who are just kind of booking travel for the sake of the experience of it all. Well, look, I mean, th th there's always a few, you know, things to consider here, but I, I think, you know, what one thing that should not be underestimated in this is that airlines, you know, still don't have change fees. So it's allowing people to book and then have a lot more flexibility on when and where they go. Uh, and I think what we were seeing earlier this year was people just booking to make sure that they got a seat you know, frankly. And, um, you know, now at this point, like there are more seats available made, you know, made available by these airlines with these new craft aircraft and they paid their labor, you know, whether it's pilots, um, you know, flight attendants, you know, more money uh, to get these planes in the air. But I think that's uh, kind of a key part of the dynamic now. To what extent has um, the, the rough experience is probably putting it mildly, you know, what we've seen in the summer, Airlines being canceled, the constant delays. I mean, how, how has that been eating into not just the experience, but also this this travel demand? I mean, have you seen a dent on the back of it? Maybe I'm just speaking from personal experience here, but it is, <laughs> it, it, you know, you have to wonder how frustrating it is um, to have to, to to go through sort of repeatedly. And the airlines, as well as the Department of Transportation, has made, made it very clear there is a rough patch that's happening right now, partly because of staffing, um, yeah. but partly because of other factors as well. 
It's it's been frustrating for sure, but people keep coming back. Um, our experts would argue this summer that the disruptions really were weather driven. You know, United was the big one this time, but if we roll back to last Christmas, you know, the Southwest debacle was pretty much self inflicted. It was an IT system that you know melted down. It's been something that's kind of plagued the the company for years. Um, that our experts would you know have been citing. You know, prior to that, it had been getting pilots, you know, paid enough and trained, you know, to fly these things. But lately, it's been more about weather. Um, this could, you know, this could change as demand continues to grow, but people come back. And look, driving isn't that cheap, and flying can get you there like pretty quick. But um, you know, the underlying demand is still there. All right, Peter, we got to leave things there. Of course, we could continue to talk to you all day about this. Third Bridge Global Sector Lead for Industrials, Materials, and Energy. Peter, have a great weekend. You too. Take care.